Hey folks, how's it going? Thanks for checking out the video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the book Artificial Intelligence with Power BI. Firstly, a big thank you to Pack Publishing for sending me a copy of the book ahead of its release so that I could read it. The book is written by Mary Jo Deepavine and it's available to buy via Amazon. I'll include a link to buy it in the description. Now I think a good place to start is to see who this book is aimed at. Literally, the first page of the preface includes this statement. So the book focuses on applying AI and Power BI, which means some experience or familiarity with Power BI is preferred. The AI features will be introduced assuming you have no prior knowledge. Although this book will introduce you to many AI concepts, it's not meant to teach you how to do data science. Now that perfectly describes me. Although I'm an experienced data professional, AI has been on my radar for a long, long time, but I don't actually have any hands-on experience or exposure to it. I am, however, pretty experienced with using Power BI, so this book feels like a good fit. Now, the book is split into three parts. AI fundamentals, out-of-the-box AI features, and create your own models. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my review into those three parts. The first chapter is an introduction to some AI concepts, including what is AI, what is machine learning, and what is deep learning. It also describes things like what is meant by supervised and unsupervised learning. I found this chapter really interesting and really insightful, and it seemed like a really good introduction. But then, I'm no data scientist, so how am I supposed to know if this is any good or not? And the answer to that, ask a data scientist. So, meet Dr. Andrew Blanche. Super, super clever guy. Uh, he's also a qualified Azure Data Scientist Associate, an all-round super boffin. So I shared with him the opening chapter of the book, and this is what he had to say. So it seems the information in this chapter is a solid introduction to AI concepts. Now the other two chapters in part one show how you can interrogate and prepare data using Power BI. As a Power BI developer, this probably isn't going to show you anything new. However, what I found interesting was the data science spin that was put on that data preparation. I've always been more of an operational BI practitioner, and I'm used to presenting my data as it comes. However, if you're preparing data for use with AI features, you might want to consider some other things when preparing your data, such as how to deal with missing data, or possibly how to deal with data anomalies. Part two makes it the bulk of the book and it covers how to use out of the box AI features with Power BI. I think it's important to call out here exactly which box we mean when we say that. We're not just talking about AI features in Power BI, we're talking about other features and services that are part of the wider Azure data platform. Although ultimately it is about how you can integrate those services back into Power BI. Now the first couple of chapters do cover features that are fully integrated Power BI AI features. That's things like forecasting, anomaly detection, and Q&A. Again, if you're an experienced Power BI developer, there might be nothing new here for you. Certainly, if you've studied for things like the PL300 exam, these are features that are explained if you go through the learning paths to those things. But where the book's different is it's not just about showing you how to configure those features. I really enjoyed the way it goes into the type of algorithms that are used to facilitate these kind of AI features in Power BI. And also the fact that it discusses good use cases. When is it a good time to use that kind of feature? What kind of data does it fit? What kind of data does it not fit? Pointers for when you should and shouldn't use that particular feature. The next few chapters cover how you can integrate Azure Cognitive Services with Power BI. Now at this point, you're delving into features that might not necessarily be free you're either going to require a Power BI Premium license, or you can pay for Cognitive Services as a standalone service in Azure. Now, you may or may not be able to sign up for some free trials for some of these things, so there may still be some opportunity for you to experiment, but I think it's just being aware of the fact that ultimately, long term, if you are going to integrate these features, there is a cost associated. This section covers various different features of Cognitive Services. The natural language understanding features, that can analyze text for key phrases and sentiments look like a particularly interesting use case. But you can also get into the realms of using computer vision for things like classifying images. Now the techniques that are being demonstrated later in the chapter 
do come across as being more advanced, but ultimately they're still out of the box. They're still using uh, algorithms and, and machine learning patterns that have already been pre-built. And this is just how you can then integrate that into your Power BI model. And again, whilst it might sound advanced, there are step-by-step -step instructions for how you integrate each of these cognitive services features. Part three might be the most intimidating part of the book, but in actual fact, it's still pretty high level and only really intended as an introduction to proper data science. Now, in terms of creating your own machine learning models, there are two techniques that are covered. AutoML, which will run your data through various existing algorithms and try and figure out which one's going to be a best fit for the data that you're working with. Once it establishes that best fit, you can then train the model further using the data you have. And then there's actually creating and training the model using Azure ML Designer yourself. Again, there are really detailed end-to-end -end instructions for how to use both techniques, as well as, of course, showing how you can then integrate that model back into Power BI once you've trained it. I found it quite interesting understanding the different ways of consuming that model in terms of uh, batch processing uh, versus doing something like a live connection to the model. And ultimately, one of the things I learned from this chapter is that you might not actually want to integrate directly with Power BI anyway. Sometimes it's going to be better to have some kind of layer in between, uh, like a data warehouse or something like that, which actually does the uh, machine learning consumption. The last chapter in this section, and indeed the whole book, is about responsible AI. This is quite a thought-provoking chapter about the ethics of using AI techniques on data, especially where that concerns personal data. And this is a really hot topic in data communities. Again, speaking with my colleague Andrew, the only thing he called out, he felt that it was a bit of a shame that this was left till the end, that this was the last chapter in the book. Perhaps it would have been good to have had this up front and promoting responsible use of AI before going into the techniques of how to actually implement it. Stuck at the end of the book, it does feel like a bit of a footnote, but it's an interesting chapter nonetheless. So ultimately, would I recommend the book? And I think the answer is definitely yes, but I also think it's worth highlighting the fact that I think different audiences are going to take different things away from it. I think the introduction to AI concepts is a great way to educate business intelligence professionals on what AI actually is. In fact, where I work, we've already agreed we're going to purchase a few copies of this book to share amongst the team. And we're hoping that through understanding these concepts better, it's going to drive better collaboration between our analytics team and our data science team. For any Power BI professional, I think those first few sections about how to get the most out of those built-in AI techniques are really, really useful. I've certainly come away with plenty of takeaways from that particular section. Now, up to that point, probably covers about half the book. And even up to that, I still think it's a worthwhile purchase. But beyond that, things definitely do start to get a bit more advanced. If you're looking to take your Power BI reports to the next level and start utilizing some of those more advanced features from the wider Azure platform, Again, yes, this is definitely a valuable resource. And the step-by-step -step guides are really thorough. And then the last set of people who I think this book will really benefit are those people who are maybe from a Power BI background, but are looking to take a step actually into data science. This is a great way to start working with some AI concepts, but in a development environment you're gonna be familiar with. I hope that's been useful. As always, if you've got any questions or feedback, please use that comment section below. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along for more Power BI content from me, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again for watching and I'll see you next time.